So let's suppose we have a certain alkene, let's say hexene for example, and let's write out all different types of isomers of hexene. Now if we compare the stability of one isomer of hexene to another isomer of hexene, we'll see a difference in stability. In other words, some isomers are more stable than other isomers. So in general, why is that? Why is it that some isomers of alkenes are more stable than other isomers of that same alkene. So we're going to address that question in this lecture. So let's begin by defining change in enthalpy of formation. So loosely speaking, enthalpy of formation is the energy difference between a final product and its constituent elements. In other words, if this value is negative, that means our final products are stable are more stable than the constituent elements. And in fact, the more negative this value is, the more stable our product is. So let's list a few isomers of hexene. So here I've listed five different isomers of hexene and each corresponding change in enthalpy of formation. So for example, for this isomer of hexene, we have negative 10 kilocals per mole of change in enthalpy of formation. And we see that as we go from 1 to 5, our values become more and more negative. And 5 is the most stable isomer and 1 is the least stable isomer. So stability increases as we go down from 1 to 5. So why is that? Why is it that number 1 is less stable than number 5? So to examine this, let's recall an important detail. Remember, when electrons are found in the s orbital, those electrons are more stable than if the electrons were found in the p orbital. And generally speaking, s character is more stable than p character because of that same concept. So let's examine the different bonds. Let's compare 1 and 5 and examine the different bonds that exist within that molecule. And let's see if we can find where this difference in stability comes from. So let's look at 1. So here we have the first isomer. So notice we have a double bond and within this double bond, the sigma bond contains sp2, sp2 character. Remember, sp2 simply means there's 33% s character and 66% p character. sp3 means there's only 25% s character and 75% p character. So sp2 bonds are more stable than sp3 bonds because sp2 bonds contain more s character. So, this sigma bond within the double bond contains sp2, sp2 character. This bond, this covalent bond, has sp2, sp3 character. And each of these three covalent bonds has sp, sp3, sp3 character each. So we have three sp3, sp3 bonds. We have one sp2, sp2 bond and we have one sp2, sp3 bonds. So now let's compare the bonds within compound 5, within isomer number 5. So once again, we have that same exact sp2, sp2 bond um, like we have here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 sp3, sp2 bonds. So notice we have more stable bonds within this compound than this compound because sp2 is more stable than sp3. Here we only have one sp2, sp3 bond and the rest are sp3, sp3s. While here all four bonds are sp, sp3, sp2 bonds. So in other words, electrons are more stable in the s orbitals. Thus, the more S character in a bond, the more stable that bond. And alkenes are more stable when they have bonds with a lot of S character. So in other words, the reason that we become more stable as we go down the list is because as we go down the list, our bonds increase in strength. 
Here we have our strongest bonds because we have most as character or more as character. And here we have the least stable compound or isomer because we have the least amount of S character.